give it up for the guy that put this together tonight. Hey, don't forget to tip your bar staff, your waitress, you know, they're working hard for you. Show them some love. All right. And don't do not do take too much libations, man. Last time I came out of here, I got pulled over by the St. Louis's finest. It's okay, Stone Cold. Get out and walk that white line. I says, fuck you. That goes all the way to Fenton. <laughs> All right, up until now, it has been a total sausage fest in comedians. We have a very lovely young lady coming to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up from St. Charles County, Gigi. Keep it going for Joe and all your comments tonight. I am Gigi Duclos. I am French by or by birth, sorry, not by marriage. Um, I, like most French people, like uh, croissants and tarje and menage a trois. We're going to have to play strip poker here, or strip uh, comedy here, guys. If you guys don't start laughing, I'm going to take off the clothes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so I am happily divorced. Anybody else happily divorced here tonight? All right, give it up for yourselves, way to go. Um, I, seven years of my life, I'm not getting back. I did get two parting gifts with that. A little girl and a little boy, it's, uh, eight and four. Um, didn't really get out on the dating scene quite so fast. Uh, was starting to get jealous of my mail for coming every day. And those stamps for getting licked. Okay, that was one for those stamp collectors back in the 90s. Because you don't have to lick them anymore. Um, anybody ever gotten on the scale and sucked in, hoping that would help? Yeah, me either. Me either. Um, so I've got my little cheat sheet here. Uh, so, yeah, oh, this week went to tips training. It's for recognized underage drinkers, like when you're serving. And I like to party, and the book we had to pre read before the class started. And I kept reading Patron for Patron. <laughs> yeah, I know, get that. And finally it dawned on me what I was reading. Um, we did some little uh, surveys in the class and little role play and. I was just glad we didn't play I Never, because I wouldn't have made it out. Um, and ironically, this class was held at a high school library. Yeah, who, who was a genius that thought of that one? Classic. Um, so this week kind of was a funky week for me. I did get a ticket. I got pulled over in Edmondson for not wearing a seatbelt. Yes. And uh, $10 fine, no, no biggie. But he was, the cop, Officer Friendly, was nice enough to hand me a sheet that gives other fines and court costs. So um, next weekend, it's only gonna cost me $40 to drive the sidewalk. <laughs> and only $100 to ride on the other side of the street. So you guys are feeling frisky and free. Come on out. Um, you guys been hearing about the, the oil spill, right? Yeah, it's kind of tragic. Um, Yahoo, and first of all, do we have any female masturbators in here tonight? <laughs> Clap for yourselves if you're not busy. Great, 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 you'll get this one, you'll love it. Um, yeah, so, they're giving out um, checks to these boating companies that are going to be put out of commission. And so I applied because my man in the boat has been out of commission this week, but apparently he didn't qualify. I was upset. Maybe next week we'll try again. Um, so yeah, so uh, here's another one for the ladies. Uh, ever stuck your hand in your purse and your lotion cap had come undone? It's kind of like jerking a guy off in the dark, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I know that just happened to me. The lotion, not the jerking the guy off. That's next week, so I can get another gig. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, any advertisers or marketer, marketing people in here? No? Okay, good. This week, they're, they're going a little overboard, okay? I was okay with a Taco Bell, you know, will you marry me? You know, it's hot in here, it's dark in here, kind of bullshit. That was fine, okay? This week I get out my foreplay toilet paper. There is a coupon ad stuck to the actual roll with NASA grade sticky tape, okay? Nothing pisses you off more than trying to hurry up and get the toilet paper undone by itself, but seriously, do we need a market on the toilet paper for further toilet paper? We're all gonna need this again, okay? They're kinda overdoing themselves and wasting their time. 
Uh, you know what word is funny to me? It's kind of like a phrase. Lip quiver. It's a kind of sound kind of dirty. Yeah. Can take that to tea ball tomorrow. See how they enjoy it. So anyway, so I'm single and getting out of the divorce, and I was trying to um, get myself back in the game with tanning and working out. Anybody ever self tan here? The spray tan and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like this one. Um, so I go to the, the tanning place and they give you the options for the spray tan or the bed tan. And the spray tan, this thing has more moves than a Michael Jackson choreography and the Kama Sutra put together, right? Am I right? You have the thriller pose. And you have the doggy style, so you avoid that little white line between your ass and your thigh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, not only that, you know, you're in your birthday suit with some stranger who's trying not to judge you. Good times, good times. So with trying to work out, and uh, my friend knows how I am, obviously I like strippers. We can all go to the strip club later. Okay. And uh, so she sent me this World Pole Championship. Apparently there's a championship for pole dancers. Did you guys know this? Yeah, great. This year is, it, it's never been in the US. It's always been in another country, not sure why. We've got a lot of talent here. I think we can pull through, get top place. Um, so yeah, so I saw this girl, no lie. Well, I don't know if she was a stripper, yoga instructor, whatever she wants to call herself, great. She was on the pole, just holding with her neck like this, like a flag in a hurricane. No lie, it was great, it was fantastic. I wanted to do this myself. But since I'm not in the best shape, I decided I would stay home and work out some videos before I enrolled in this class because there are classes that do offer this sport. And uh, so like, you know, when you have the cleaning lady, you kind of clean up before she comes over. I got a Denise Austin video. Does everybody know who Denise, Denise Austin is? We're blonde, you know, has worked out, looks great. Annoying as shit, okay? 30 minutes of this bitch. Good job, great, keep going, keep going. I have to start listening to her and watching her and working out like I do my porn on mute. It's crazy, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, so um, going out with my friends, having a good time, being divorced, loving it. I'm trying to think what else I got here. Oh, my friend Michelle, she's not here tonight, so I'm gonna tell this story. And it's being recorded, hi Michelle, you missed it. Um, going out with my friends, Michelle. I like going out and being the designated driver. It gives me something to add to my resume <laughs> and gives to the community as a volunteer. I put that on there. Um, so yeah, so we go out. I always take my camera, so I have proof later. And I also like to take pictures and of their event of the night and send them to them for Christmas cards. Don't tell them about the night, just wait. You know, a little surprise. They call me, oh, I got the Christmas card, you know. When was this? So, Michelle, I'm the designated driver. We are headed home. She's getting sick, so I have to pull over. Closest spot to pull over is a hill with a ravine at the bottom. This is a true story, no lie. So, she um, gets out, and I give her time. You know, I'm sitting in the driver's seat with lights off because I do not want cops pulling up. And all of a sudden I hear, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm thinking, oh crap, my camera does not take the best night shots. <laughs> so I look over at the edge of my seat and sure as shit, she has fallen down the hill. <laughs> so I hurry up, I take the picture, double check that it took because this is the shot of the year, people. This is going in the Kodak, I'm entering it in contest, it's great. Get her up the hill and pulling shit out of her hair. What are you people throwing out of your cars these days? Other than gum and cigarettes, seriously, on Highway 40, let's pick up your shit, all right? Let's save some people some time and me the havoc of having to pull crap out of her hair. I'm Gigi, that's my time, thank you. Tour coming up. What's the name of the comedy tour, Randy? Blue. 